everyone, and welcome back to the Military Tech Channel. S-400 versus Patriot. Who has the world's best air defense system? With plans now underway to equip Ukraine's armed forces with America's Patriot air defense system, the internet is a flutter with debate about just how effective it really is and whether or not it stacks up against its Russian competition. The MIM-104 Patriot Air Defense System first entered service in the early 1980s as a replacement for both Nike Hercules High to Medium Air Defense and MIM-23 Hawk Medium Tactical Air Defense Systems. Today, the Patriot is operated by 18 nations, with the United States operating the largest fleet of systems, with 16 Patriot battalions operating upwards of 50 Patriot batteries that have more than 1,200 interceptors in the field. In comment sections and forums around the world, you'll find no shortage of self-appointed air warfare experts citing seemingly imagined statistics about American, Russian, and other air defense platforms to justify their hyperbole. But the complicated truth about air defenses at large comes in the form of two equally hard to swallow pills for those waging war in the comments section. One, publicly released details about most air defense systems tend to be as rare as they are dated. Two, air defenses at large are simply not as effective as they're often perceived to be. However, with those two points in mind, the evidence seems clear that the MIM-104 Patriot is among, and potentially even the most effective air defense system in the world. But if that's the case, why is it so often dismissed, while Russia's S-400 is so frequently touted as practically invincible? The truth is, understanding how perceptions of the Patriot system relate to the platform's actual performance requires a pretty thorough understanding of not only the complexity of the air defense enterprise, but also the marketing tactics leveraged by nations fielding different systems. The world's first air defense system to shoot down a missile. On January 18, 1991, a CNN crew recorded from Saudi Arabia as an American Patriot system was used for the first time to engage a reported incoming Scud missile. The SS-1 Scud was a post-World War II tactical ballistic missile developed by the Soviet Union and based on Germany's V-2. Eric operated a modified iteration of the upgraded Scud B during the Gulf War. According to their findings, only about 9% of Scud intercepts by the Patriot system during the conflict are supported by the strongest evidence that an engagement resulted in a warhead kill. This 9% figure seems really bad, even worse when compared to the Defense Department's claims of 70% and 40% success rates in Saudi Arabia and Israel, respectively. Raytheon, however, had a valid rebuttal that tends to be glossed over by critics of the system. Of course, if we're willing to acknowledge the media's preference for an exciting, if damning story, we certainly need to consider Raytheon's obvious bias when defending a multi-billion dollar system of their own creation. And while their rebuttal did poke holes in the media narrative surrounding the Patriots' failure, it still painted a rosier picture of the system's performance than was probably warranted. To that end, we reached out to a popular TikTok content creator and US Patriot Fire Control Enhanced Operator Maintainer who asked to simply be identified as Sergeant First Class, SSC Long. Long is an active duty subject matter expert tasked with the placement, operation, and maintenance of the Patriot Fire Control System. In the first Gulf War, Patriot was right around 25%. It was doing something it wasn't necessarily designed for. It was actually built for planes, but they decided to throw it at missiles, and it sometimes hit. Since then, we have vastly improved the system, like hundreds of upgrades. Mom's claim of a 25% success rate is in keeping with the government accounting office's own conclusions about the Gulf War, and his assertions about the system's progress since are also substantiated in the data. 
While the Patriot system did struggle against Iraq's Al Hussein model Scud Bs during the Gulf War, things were quite different when the Patriot returned to Iraq a bit more than a decade later. In contrast with the experience of Desert Storm, Patriot interceptors defeated every ballistic missile they engaged during the 2003 Operation Iraqi Freedom. Since 2015, Patriot has successfully engaged scores of missiles and drones in the Yemen Missile War. Israel has likewise used it on a number of occasions to defeat drones, aircraft, and other threats. S-400 Live Fire Testing, Russian Ministry of Defense When discussing the Patriot air defense system online, it's impossible to avoid comparisons with its Soviet and Russian counterparts systems like the S-300, S-400, and the latest S-500. Unlike the Patriot system, which tends to have a tarnished reputation in the minds of many Russian systems, are often highly touted as the best in the world. Of course, since the onset of fighting in Ukraine in February of 2022, Russia's long-standing approach to conveying an unwarranted image of military prowess has finally become broadly recognized. And as we've discussed at length in our deep dive into the S-400, the air defense enterprise is no exception. Russia's air defense systems, like so many of the nation's military endeavors, benefit from a very intentional perception management campaign enacted by the Russian government and bolstered by countless Russian state-backed media outlets operating all around the world. The myth of Russia's impenetrable air defenses, it's important to understand, is vital to Russia's efforts to court foreign buyers for these systems, as the Russian military is reliant on foreign investment to fund its own advanced developmental weapons programs. So why, then, is there such a disparity between popular perceptions of America's Patriot air defense system and Russia's S-400? A great deal of that comes down to something as simple as American transparency juxtaposed against Russian information operations, as well as the overall level of secrecy surrounding all air defense platforms regardless of national origin. This point was made succinctly in a broader piece about the overall effectiveness of air defense systems published by the Nuclear Threat Initiative in September 2020.